Hello, where do we want? And welcome back to East Haven County, located somewhere here on the southeastern shores of Massachusetts. So in the most recent episode, we overhauled the map because it really didn't look all that much like southeastern Massachusetts. So we've consolidated a bunch of the islands into bigger islands. We've created a ton of these small peninsulas as well as beaches here and there. And generally, we've just tried to make the map a lot more detailed. Uh, added in some like yeah sand dunes <laughs> my attempt at sand dunes at least you can see there's a bit of elevation here uh, added in some more interesting forests a bit of just a tiny bit of I guess you could call this marshland and just overall I, I think the results turned out pretty well and it seems that the reception from you guys was also quite positive so today we're gonna continue the trend of trying to make the series look a little more like southeastern massachusetts by creating our very first uh, resort slash beach towns and we're gonna create one on this big island here uh, which is gonna be just a very small commercial center uh, that's going to support a, support a bit of commercial demand from some of the surrounding vacation areas that we're going to build here. So we'll be jumping into Google Street View to get a bit of inspiration and see uh, what we're actually dealing with here. But before we do that, here's a friendly reminder to like this video if you enjoy my content. Uh, it's a small thing, but it really does help out. So thank you. So we're going to take a look at two quite different resort towns. The first one's going to be Provincetown, which is situated at the very top of the uh, Cape Cod Peninsula. And I think it's the most famous vacation town in uh, the state of Massachusetts. It's, it's a very cozy place. So we'll jump down to the very American named Commercial Street <laughs> to check the main commercial street of the town. Um, but that's where the uh, kind of cliche American stuff actually ends because uh, this is just a very, very cozy street. Uh, and it's going to be very hard to try and replicate this style in City Skylines 2 because we don't really have, uh, you know, North American themed commercial assets that look like this. We don't have European commercial assets that look like this because the mixed use is just too bulky and too big. I mean, this is. Uh, you know double deckers and essentially small row houses that are then lined with shops at the very bottom but it's a very very cozy place it's very colorful you have uh, a very narrow street I assume this is a one way so we might steal that and implement that that's something we can implement um, but otherwise to create a look like this we'd have to get pretty creative with using you know manually placed row houses of different levels and themes and then maybe manually adding the signs to them as props even. The other town we're gonna take a look at is Nantucket and it's located a, a little more in the actual area that we are working on in East Haven as the East Haven Island group is located somewhere in this you know general area and I was surprised to see that Nantucket is, is built a little differently than Provincetown. So if we move down to, let's say, the corner of Broad Street and South Water Street, uh, we'll see that it seems that the streets are generally just a little wider. There's a bit more space. The sidewalks are wider. And the overall architecture and, you know, urban structure is just of a slightly lower density. So we've got these... Uh, commercial primarily commercial assets that are just you know uh, one floor um, so it's a uh, it's a bit of an interesting mix to see these two towns actually be quite different in in you know the architecture and how they're actually built up um, so I think I'm gonna try and go for a mix of the two uh, but once again this style would also be very hard to replicate in city scanners too so there are definitely going to be some compromises um, but I think you know, my overall takeaway is that these towns are very, very cozy. I would love to live in a place like this. In fact, if you have visited these towns or maybe you even live uh, in one of these small resorts slash vacation home areas of Massachusetts, I'd be very interesting to hear your input and, you know, your thoughts of the area. So obviously the first thing we're going to have to settle on is the placement of this new small resort town. And... Like I said, I want to place it on this island here because I just think it's uh, the perfect fit. And ideally, I want to place it at, uh, you know, quite a distance from Chowder Bay. 
which is uh, like a more industrial, commercially oriented uh, town or city by now. So that kind of restricts us to the south coast of this new island here. Uh, remember, this is east leading to the Atlantic. And we've got, we've got a pretty fun structure here where we've got this small peninsula with a, a bay with a bit of a beach on one hand and a bit of marshland on the other. So trying to develop a small resort town center here, uh, vacation town, I think would be pretty fun. We might even be able to fit in a small marina. Uh, although to work on this, we should probably just buy, uh, let's see how many, we can buy 25. So I think grabbing these eight permits is probably going to be sufficient for this uh, project at least. And I think before we lay out the actual road network of the town, let's just get the um, connection to the rest of the county in place. Uh, so I'll definitely be needing a bridge from Chowder Bay and it seems that one of the narrowest crossings would be here where we've got this fun little peninsula sticking out so I think I'm going to remove a couple of these houses and then we're going to try and cross here with the bridge uh, so I'm going to create a bit of a plateau somewhere around here at around this height maybe and probably create the same thing over here and then i'll start by drawing out the bridge and let's see probably gonna use this two-lane highway bridge here right by the edge here and as per usual the game won't really allow it unless i hit Control a to enable anarchy uh, a mod that I am so dependent on, <laughs> but suddenly it is possible and the bridge is looking pretty cool. Uh, so we'll need to slope the terrain here to connect up to Laurel Street. Uh, let's see, so this is actually the biggest street that actually uh, enters the high school area from downtown. So we might just want to, I think I want to right click down here and then going to drag all the way down there. And we're actually going to connect up here. It's going to look, it's going to look a little more interesting as well uh, compared to if we just did a direct connection. Enable control lines so I know what type of terrain I'm working with. And then it should just be a matter of snaking my way through with some curvy road bits and getting the alignment correct here yank and that looks pretty good we'll move over here as well get ourselves the slope terrain tool right click up here and then probably get it a bit of a bend going and 4% incline here should be just fine. Then, of course, we can move in with our softened terrain and just getting this all smoothed out. And the same deal over here. Awesome. And now it's just a matter of getting uh, this uh, two lane highway crossing through the island here and we're gonna go pretty straight here it's going to be like the main arterial and then i'll have smaller roads to branch off in this area maybe have a tiny bit of farming nestled in just to create a, a unique look but mostly have vacation homes uh, although i imagine that there are people that there are quite a few people probably that live here full-time as well just due to like the natural beauty of the place and i think we'll go down to about here and then the road is kind of going to conclude very close to the town we're gonna build so i'll bring it up here uh, but i'm probably going to also branch off let's oh we have we have control lines enabled the place is just so flat that we don't really have to worry too much 
So I'm just creating like a very basic road network right now for the island here. It's just a bit of uh, doing a bit of future roofing, I guess you could say, or preparing for future work out here. Uh, it's not like we're going to develop this whole thing in this episode, but um, it just kind of provides a bit of context with what we're working with. And of course, we'll be needing some underwater, uh, some underwater. <laughs> we'll be needing some sewage uh, treatment as well as uh, some fresh water, <laughs> rather. Um, out here as well, so we're gonna drag some water piping underneath this main road, right where it belongs. And I think we'll just do this segment for now, as we might we might change this up later. Uh, for providing electricity, we're gonna go for the power lines because they've got they've just got a certain aesthetic on their own. Uh, and I've shown this before, but if you are annoyed by this bug here where they are kind of dug into the ground then the simple solution to that is to just uh, lower the elevation to uh, just anything lower than 10 875 will do and of course the cool thing with these power lines is that you can sort of align them to the actual roads so we're just gonna do that and then i guess as we get to the bridge it might become a bit tricky or maybe not. Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna try and... Okay, so if I just move across, then... It's, uh, it's gonna be fine, I think. It's gonna look a bit weird, but... Uh, we'll just check how it looks in just a second. For now, I'm just gonna make sure that the power lines are gonna make their way all the way out to our future little uh, resort town. There you go, and let's move back to a bridge and see just how it looks. <laughs> it looks a bit funky. I wonder if I can even use move it to move these or if they are... Yeah, I can. They're not actually... Uh, they're not stitched together with the bridge, I guess, so I could move them just a bit out here. So that they're more or less a part of the structure. And I'll just check if that looks a little better in just a second. Let's see. It probably does. All right, so we've got our utilities all connected up now. All right, I guess from here on out, things are only going to get uh, more complicated. Uh, so I'll be using a, a mixture of assets I haven't really used before and trying out a few things as well to create this little town. Uh, but I think just, of course, getting the initial roads in place is uh, probably just the best way to start. Uh, so I'm going to create like a sort of like a main road where we'll have uh, most of the commercial establishments and taller buildings of the town. If you can say that, because it's going to be a pretty low density. i uh, just going to clear this up. Get rid of all the bushes and, and whatnot. Uh, so this, this lane here is going to be uh, pretty much the main road of commercial activity, like I said. And then, and then we'll need to kind of connect that up to the primary road. So let's see, we'll do something like this. And then if we branch off here, then it's hopefully not going to look too weird. And if we're to have a marina, the piers are probably going to start from somewhere out here. So I may just grab a road here and just bring it, bring it in like this. A slight bend. And then in this direction and then just connect it up to here. So... Uh, maybe this is the outline of the town uh, as a start. And we might do a roundabout here, of course. And then I think we'll grab another street and just run that at a 90 degree angle. And maybe get a connection going here. 
and then yeah the commercial uh, small commercial strip is going to be facing the water and the small marina we built here and then the density is going to drop really quickly maybe a hotel over here that faces this uh, this bay here where there's a uh, just a very small beach and let's just get a breakwater in place in preparation for the marina and i'll probably i'll lower the terrain level a bit for this here so we'll probably go for something like this as our level and then i'll just bring that all the way over here we'll go for our slope tool so that we can have a gentle slope moving up there and then it should be fairly easy for us to go out and all the way out here like Let's try placing um, the first initial set of buildings alongside the main street here. Um, because this is, like I said, the most tricky part of this build, I guess. Because I can't really uh, replicate or get the desired effect of the two uh, small towns we've just looked at in Massachusetts. So we'll have to create sort of a weird mix of different styles and try some things out. My idea is that we can use uh, some of the, not the hotel buildings because they are rather tall, but maybe the motel buildings at a high level. Uh, some of these small ones here might fit the bill for, uh, you know, the type of development that we want. Uh, this one is uh, kind of cozy. Uh, and I may be able to remove some of the, uh, you know, some of the signs on this building to make it fit in a bit better but i think most of the buildings i'm going to place them at a bit of a distance from the sidewalk uh, so that we can maybe have a bit of space for um, like some outdoor seating and whatnot to detail it up uh, we've got a building here as well that might also just fit the bill i think i'm gonna place it over here on this corner so that we've got uh, a lot of windows Oh, actually, it's got some balconies. We'll have it over here, though. So we've got a lot of windows uh, facing the, the bay. Should be fine. And let's see. Um, this one, we might be able to use that as well. This is the North American themed one. This one we can definitely use. Uh, because it can act as a hotel, but also a restaurant with some outdoor seating uh, out front. So I'm going to place that as far back from the road as the game will allow me while still having a connection. And then there are the bigger hotels, of course. So for the bigger hotels, I was thinking about having a hotel over here that is kind of, you know, placed near this bay here. And we could do something like this. So you've got the beach behind um six by four probably the best bet i'm just gonna go a little down and see if that looks even better this might even this might be a a better looking building honestly mm, let's let's actually just go for this level three i don't want the building thing to be too big and chunky uh, so we'll do something like this and the alignment is always a little finicky. Move it back a bit. And I think that's going to be pretty good. The, the US version is uh, a little more basic. That really is a like it really is a motel. Uh, but we can have one of these as well. Uh, maybe have a bigger one in a slightly less slightly less desirable location because this uh, motel really isn't as fancy as the other ones we've placed uh, so maybe just placing it here on this corner and i'm going to make sure to use uh, quite a few of these uh, interesting motel buildings here uh, they don't have to be uh, actual motels but you know they can just represent small commercial establishments as well and I think for some of the assets, it's uh, it's the closest we're gonna get to some of the styles we saw in the, in the small towns. So uh, yeah, I mean it's uh, 
you know, limitations. We have to work uh, with some of the limitations we're given here. So that's what we're going to try and do. And they're not too bad, these uh, small buildings here. You know, a few of them are actually, are actually quite nice for what we're trying to achieve, I feel. Uh, the North American here is... Uh, uh, it's, it, it will do. It will do. Although maybe just in a... Let's see, in different location. And I wonder if the 2 by 3 is the... Oh, wait. you There is no 2 by 3 Okay. Uh, never mind, then. Just gonna bring this back a bit, then. I think I'm gonna add this one to the corner over here. Look at this beauty. It's a pretty good one for the main street here as well, I feel. Oh, it actually can't. Oh, this one is different as well. We'll place that somewhere also. And this one even has a bit of outdoor dining. So we're certainly gonna place it. Maybe, maybe that's actually a better. Now we'll place it here. Doesn't have to be in the corner. Yoink. Going to use Anarchy to just bring some of these uh, hotels here a little closer together. And I'll probably have to uh, build a few more. Use a few more that I've actually already used. So this one in green. Can I just reselect it for a different color? Please. Uh, can I get like a pink version? That would be kind of cozy. I'm kind of feeling pink is my color today. Uh, get this one placed here. There was uh, another interesting American type. Right? Uh, maybe not. We've got this one as well, uh, which I guess could be kind of stitched together with this one to create like a single uh, development due to the color and the style sort of being similar. So maybe if we just move this kind of back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get that all fixed up with some anarchy. Move that real close over here. And things are definitely starting to shape up, even though it's uh, one of the weirder, <laughs> weirder acid usages I've, uh, I've ever tried. Uh, but yeah, I think, you know, we need to try and get creative with uh, with these limitations. So maybe if I, if I place this at an angle and connect it with a road, then it's not so visible that it's a copy of this one. But I want a different color. Do I want pink again? You know, I, I, I think I do. I think we're gonna go for the second pink and then just align it pretty close to this one. Uh, like this. And of course it's gonna need road access, but that's alright. We're gonna just create a slightly more interesting road layout than initially planned then. I mean, we are manually plopping buildings, so it's not really an issue. Uh, cut a road through here as well, I think. So that we can develop the backlots here, because the, the asset usage we've been using so far, uh, but it, you know, it's, it, it, it isn't as... Uh, the assets aren't super deep. They're like two zoning tiles deep, uh, which is fine, but, uh, you know, might... You know, it's, uh, it's going to create some empty space behind here uh, that we can then fill up with, I'm thinking, some uh, low-density commercial. Maybe two times three two by three tiles, sorry. Even have a bit of surface parking as well. Just a bit. Uh, we'll get a shove in here. And maybe get so this this European one kind of has the same style of same style style of roofing we've already been uh, using. 
So maybe if I can just align that over here, it's going to be a good fit like this. And then some low density residential uh, two by two, maybe see if I can squeeze in some cozy buildings that look a little older. This one is a good fit. That one was nice as well. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Ah, oh, come on, not a single one of these uh, North American ones look just slightly older. And these waterfront assets, they're quite big, like the 2x2s two fill up the... They kind of fill up the... In, okay, this is actually a pretty good... It almost, almost looks like, like a, you know, a proper historical house. So, okay, I guess they'll do. And it, we, we have space over here as well for a cute vacation house. Yank. So, moving slightly further into town, I'm gonna see if I can just squeeze in a few of these hotels here alongside this sort of main road. Kind of cuts into the town. Uh, primarily the European ones, they just seem to be... Uh, the best fit we're gonna have a bit of repetition but i guess that's just how it's uh, it's how it's gonna be for now with the asset availability we uh, we have or the limitations rather um i'm wondering if i can uh, squeeze in one more we've already got this located here so uh, maybe uh, maybe this variant instead might work somewhere along here yank and then i think i'm gonna mix in some low density uh commercial assets uh not too wide i want them to be pretty pretty small actually provide a bit of surface parking as well there is really isn't much of that uh in town currently and it's not that i want a lot of surface parking but um you know gotta have some i think so we'll just place another uh commercial establishment here and then we're gonna go for a two by three or two by four sorry maybe two even manually place one there and maybe get one over here as well uh three by three is probably better fit for this corner location actually something like that um and then i think it's a matter of starting to add in uh some residential housing so i'm gonna go for some low density residential units probably gonna go two by three and two by four for starters and uh, probably manually place them although we could just align them and then use move it to uh, move them around and I'm gonna try and see if uh, I can find some of these that look sort of old-ish. I don't mind a few newer houses in between that have been, you know, completely renovated or old house has been, uh, you know, torn down to build something new. But I imagine that, you know, for much of this community, uh, many of the houses would look uh, sort of old. Uh, there are limitations to this because, you know, <laughs> not every low-density house looks old uh, at all, actually. So. I'll, uh, we'll, tr we'll see how it goes.
And to make this little town stand out a bit more, we are going to grab a surface, one of the tiled one, uh, probably O1. I like that the most. And then we're going to uh, create a custom... It's not really a boardwalk, you know, but uh, just kind of have custom sidewalk to just make things a little more interesting in here. So we're going to start with the, the main walk here where we're going to have uh, a few props and some outdoor seating and stuff. But we're also going to uh, expand this by just adding it to some of these roads that also cut a bit into the peninsula here. Uh, let's see, something like this looks pretty nice. And we'll do it alongside this road as well, at least until we get to this open spot. And I'm not trying to be like super precise. Um, I say that as a disclaimer. It's, a, it's an easy cop out, easy cop out, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's just detailing, so I don't want to spend too much time uh, doing this. But it's just to make this whole thing look a little more unique, a little more interesting than it otherwise would. And I find that adding these surfaces uh, certainly help uh, pointing in that direction. Now we're not gonna jump into any like kind of detailing just yet. Uh, what I want to do instead is make the uh, layout and like the shape of this uh, small town uh, a little more confined to the natural landscape. So to do that, I'm going to expand the bay inwards, uh, creating a small bay here as well as just grabbing this marshland and trying to expand it in this direction as well. Uh, so that this uh, almost looks like a small island on its own. Uh, even though, of course, it, it isn't really. Uh, so I'm just going to grab the um, level we've got here. And then start mapping this out so that this uh, marshland or whatever, whatever we'd like to call it, actually extends all the way in here and kind of frames off much of the, uh, the small town. And for the bay over here, grab a water level that's uh, pretty shallow. And just move in here. Maybe even a small island here in the very center. Cool. Let's make sure that we've, we're removing some of the trees and flora here. We'll add that afterwards. Uh, so I'm going to hit play. Open up the developer mode menu, go into simulation, water, and send it. And then uh, unpause, of course. <laughs> and now the water is going to fill out these new areas much quicker. I mean, I say that, but nothing seems to... Oh, there, there you go. It's just a little slow. And I'm adding in... One extra hotel, as I really want to use this asset. And thought that there is just about enough space here for a nice large hotel as well. Uh, and then we might even just do a bit of terraforming to create a bit of an extra inlet here. Not too much, because I was actually thinking of doing a bit of surface parking, a bit of custom surface parking here. Uh, not just to serve the two uh, hotels, this one already has some dedicated parking, but also just to serve the, the city. So let's jump in and grab our parking lot. And uh, for the beginning, it's just a straight segment, but then it is going to curve a bit. Like this, I guess. And we'll just make sure that we've got a proper connection to the adjacent road on both ends. Yike. And something I really hope we'll be seeing when we get custom assets in place is a 
small road, not wider than this, but uh, in a one-way configuration with parking on one side. Uh, I would have loved to use the one-way road with parking in this build, uh, as we saw it in the actual Massachusetts uh, resort towns, but it's just too bulky, and I just think that for a place as small as this and built within the confinements of these, uh, you know, this, this small open area here, it just makes more sense to use this uh, this tiny lane. Anyways, uh, simple surface addition to the parking lots, of course, is needed. Adding that extra bit of detail, making it look nice. We've got a spot here, which I think is perfect for a small half or people when they've actually parked their cars. And then I'm just gonna finish this up and then I'll just manually create I'll disable snapping and I'm gonna create the paths for the cars. And we've already got plenty of complaints. That's uh, Cities 2 for you. Anyways, let's uh, let's try and do a bit of detailing of this uh, main strip here. So I think for starters, getting some table sets. I think they're called table sets, right? Yeah. Um, it's one way to approach this, you know, so that we can designate a few places where you can uh, you can grab a bite. Um, and I think a place like this is uh, would probably be a good idea. And I think what we'll do is we'll have these in. You know, I'll have a I'll have a walking path, kind of going alongside here. So uh, maybe I should actually just keep it closer to the actual establishment. We've got some tables here as well, which we can arrange. Sort of like this, and then maybe even a set out here closer to the road. And then maybe we can place some plants or whatnot. Uh, let's see. Got an additional set here. Oh, there are already some tables in there. So maybe we'll just have... Maybe just have like a couple of benches here and then a food cart here in the corner. And I think we'll have some tables here as well. in the front of this place and we might connect the surface up a little better to the um, this open deck and uh, let's see we can do some here as well right so a food truck or something of the sort. Uh, oh yeah, what's this actually called? Do, 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 do. Food stall, maybe? We wanted that over here. Uh, but preferably something, just a cart, maybe. Like a, like a small one, like this one. Offering ice creams or hot dogs or something like that. And then I guess we can have a... An additional stall somewhere else over here maybe where you can grab some popcorn and I think that is fine for now yeah I'm wondering if there are like clothing racks uh, no no Uh, oh, there are lots of these stands. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to use those as well. So let's see. Elif stand is that a stand? Is that what the game classifies these as? It seems that seems to be the case. So we've got barber shops, almost meat. Uh, do, 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 do. Guess I'll just add this here. 
Big Feet Incorporated, Burley and Brawny. Let's get a bit of a swinger club vibe, I guess, but uh, could also be a place where you get good meat. <laughs> oh. Um, I guess I'll just add a few of these random ones. Consumer apparel, Concilio Bombacio. That sounds like a place where you can grab, grab a bite as well. Get a few of these placed, and that is that's pretty good. So I was looking for some plants. Uh, of some sort plant pots to be placed like as decorations here alongside the avenue we've got these small ones which uh, i think we're gonna go for random rotation and why can't i oh set the spacing to maybe five meters apart And we've got not one, but two police cars from the Chowder Bay Police Department North Port Station patrolling all the way out here. Which is a bit interesting because I don't imagine there's a lot of stuff going on out here by now. But I mean, the scenery is nice, so I'd probably patrol here as well, if it was a quiet day at least. Anyways, for the actual coastline here... Um, I don't think I want like a an actual key. Uh, I'd rather just place a bunch of boulders maybe and add in some bushes and a few trees and kind of make it, you know, a, a bit more of a natural um, transition. Uh, so I think if I can just maybe smooth this out ever so slightly, it looks a bit dramatic right now. In fact, I think I'm just going to bring this out a bit. Like so, and then we'll just smoothen the whole thing. So that you could go for a morning swim here if you wanted to. Um, we'll go ahead and grab some random boulders. And spam that alongside the coast here. Or maybe not, maybe actually just just gonna add in a few like small clusters basically because i think i'm gonna spam these alongside the breakwater when we built the marina so here i am going to restrict myself a little bit and because then we should be able to add in uh, these small bushes or in different sizes so this is the big one this is the small one and kind of create small clusters of these. Let's get the marina going. So I want the actual boat piers to be relatively close to the surface of the water. So I'm going to create two levels here. First, I'm going to create uh, this level here, which is at the same level as the uh, road here, which is also going to act as the breakwater. And then I'm just going to grab a path tool here and add in a path select upgrade remove snapping and just get this path moved very close to the road like this then we'll go into terraforming and i'm gonna go to a lower level so probably just follow this white contour line here and then reduce the size of this and then just try and create a lower level here that is at the same distance from the uh, first path i created here then we'll increase the size and just grab all the area we think we're gonna need to create the marina i don't want it to be a big one just a very small one we're gonna have several of these uh throughout the um the county and possibly this island as well um but the reason i wanted to do this is that i want like a you know some stairs almost so i wanted to go down here 8.3 is probably a little much but 7.3 that's fine 
And I'll see if I can do something similar over here. Yeah. And then we'll just go straight out. Or out to about here and then maybe turn. And out to about here. And then we can get our small piers in place. And it's always a little finicky trying to get this right. But we fortunately have some pretty good guidelines we can use when creating these. <laughs> yeah, I always have trouble getting these right, getting the scale right. I, I really hoped we'd have some, uh, you know, boat props we could actually place. I'm really crossing fingers. That's something that we're going to get at some point in time. Um, but we don't have for now. And I guess without boat props, then I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm not great at, uh, at this. <laughs> but I think with that said, uh, I am going to start upgrading these segments. So I'm going to upgrade these two keys, I think, because, um, or maybe we should allow for bigger boats to dock here. And in that case, we're actually going to have to upgrade it to a bridge segment. Uh, we'll just try that solution first and then see. Uh, I imagine that, I mean, of course, we need a bit of protection from rough seas, but we are kind of protected by this peninsula here from the the worst that the Atlantic has to offer. So I don't I don't think it's super critical to uh, go too heavy on like the seawall construction here and the brick walls, uh, brick waters, sorry. Uh, try to try and battle with the with the sea. So could be wrong though. But I think for starters, this is uh, this is probably fine. So let's see. We'll of course need sufficient depth for the boats. And I see we're missing a little bridge segment. There we go. That should sort that out. We'll bring this in real close. And then we're going to smooth in some of this so that we still have a relatively smooth coastline here. Well, this is uh, this is certainly weird. I'm not sure what's going on here. But I guess we can try and work around it. All right, and I think this calls for a bit of sped up water. There you go. That filled out very nicely. And let's get some... Whoa. Suspension pillars added to our breakwater. Let's get some random boulders added uh, here and there. Uh, we're going to add a bunch in here as well. And of course, the actual breakwater. And then usually it looks pretty good if we add in a bunch of bushes here among side the rocks. And then I'm hoping these uh, rubble piles might be able to create like a very rocky look for the uh, beach stretch here alongside the alongside the town and just like add some different rock um, elements. Yeah, I'm mumbling a bit right now. It's early morning while I record this. That's my uh, definite excuse. Something like this. Let's take a look and see how this actually looks. I think over here it looks pretty good. And I think it looks fine over here as well. Although I, I may just do even more. What was it called? Rubble pile random. And then plenty of bushes to mix in. Yeah, and this this area here just looks a bit uh, weird. It's probably 
the best way to say it. So I'm gonna try something a little different here, I think. I'm gonna elevate this here, I'm going to remove this segment, and then I'll see if I can like um you know maybe I can add in maybe a small warehouse or something here like a small industrial building I will see I think it's a two by three or something so if we go for warehouse two by we've got two by two and two by fours so two by four seems to be our best bet I'm just gonna see if there's something that could kind of act a bit as a Got a few different variants, so I think we'll just try and grab this one, flip it around, and just bag it up as much as possible while still having road access, of course. So maybe something like this. You know, I th I honestly think that's uh that's a little better, a little more interesting as well. Uh, but I would like to make sure that I add this, and then I just make sure this is a a bridge segment. There you go. Actually, let's just uh, let's just remove that. It looks weird. It looks weird if I don't align it completely properly. So we're gonna do that. Go out here and go back here. Connect all the way up. There you go. Then we should be able to add a key segment here and a key segment here, and then lower the ground. Yes, much better. So I think with the marina in place, I'm going to jump into just a bit more detailing of, uh, of the town, add in some bushes, some trees, uh, you know, maybe remove some well manicured grass from their lawns. I don't think we'd have that in a place like this. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see where this takes us. I think that concludes this episode and how much time we're gonna spend on this little uh, resort slash beach town for now. Pretty happy with how everything has turned out. I've uh, refrained from manual placing any signs for now because there are actually quite a few signs alongside these hotels here. Uh, so when these hotels are occupied by, well, when these buildings are occupied by actual hotel businesses and the signs turn into something, we can kind of revisit this area and see if, if it fits or if we should manually remove the signs and replace them with, with something else. Uh, but for now, we're just waiting for people and businesses to uh, to move into this area, get it a bit populated so we can see people uh, move uh, out and about, which is going to be very exciting. 
Uh, but I also suspect that that's not really going to happen before we actually start filling out uh, some of these uh, big areas here with nice vacation homes and beautiful houses. But that's going to be uh, probably in the next episode. And I'm really looking forward to that because I have experimented a bit with that type of uh, development and it turns out so nice. Really a place I'd want to live, honestly. Um, but I'm rambling, so with all that said, I think I'm going to shoot some cinematics now. And then the big task for you guys, as always, is we need a name for this place. And I have no idea, so I'm going to need you guys' assistance to actually name it. What are we going to call this little town? And if you've got a suggestion for like a background story for it as well, then feel free. So throw that into the comments, and I'll look forward to your suggestions. Thank you guys so much for watching. There will be some cinematics now, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Goodbye.